everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Ricky the Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are back with yet another indie horror from Chilla's Art. So this is actually the first Chilla's Art game that we've played on this channel. Um, Chilla's Art does a bunch of Japanese horror games. Every time one comes out, everyone freaks out, and rightly so, because they do a really good job of setting atmosphere. The description for this one is really unsettling. Um, it literally says, psychological horror game. This game will drive you insane. <laughs> Uh, so there's that. So this one, I don't know actually much about this one other than it's about a streamer and they're doing their streamer thing and then uh, obviously shit goes to hell. I think it's a stalker or something like that. Psychological horror, it's horror, it's chill as art. We're just gonna do it and we're gonna get right into it and hopefully we live to tell the tale. So let's have at it and just get started. Awfully quiet so far. Oh. The alarm is ringing. Press space. Okay. Oh, time to stream. So get up, down, enter. Okay. All right. So, ah, uh, Suka. So, oh, we want this one. Oh, we want actual enter button. Uh, Nikujaga, I made... The Nikujaga I made is in the fridge, so heat it up and eat it. Okay. Oh, she made us food. That's nice. So can we check out more? I gained 5,000... More than 5,000 subscribers. You're still playing around like that? You have to grow up and find a real job and get paid. Yeah. Dude, 5,000 subscribers?! I wouldn't call that playing around. I am so thankful for the almost a thousand subscribers I have subscribers. I can't even thank you guys enough and I'm freaking out about that. And she's like, you're playing around? Oh, Ma'am, you have no idea how amazing these people are to watch a random person like me on the internet. And uh, your uh, kid here is killing it. Clearly they like this person. Uh, okay. I was gonna check out the other messages, but it's fine. So eat the Niku Jaga in the fridge. Oh, oh, I got a whole thing here. Nice place. Oh, oh, it's me. I'm a girl. Hello. That's kind of creepy. The mirror. <laughs> Washer dryer. Nice. Oh, we got a wet bath. I love these. These are cool because it's like just all in one go. So what's in here? All the boxes. Can't be the streamer setup. That's the most important thing now. I understand this. Like, first thing I set up if I move somewhere will be the streamer desk. <laughs> I understand now. It's so funny. So, okay. Yum. Heat it up. I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but looks yummy. It could be Niku Yaga, but I use usually a hard J. I should know this. <laughs> Yum! Did I put it in there with the plastic wrap on? That's a little concerning. Oh, put it on the table. I got a nice place! Oh, a little pink desk. Look at that. That's cool. Having a warm meal, gotta get that energy up. Definitely understand that. Cool. Stream. <laughs> I love it, just tells you, get to work! Alright. Anything in my closet? Just me hanging out? Oh, I can do all the doors. Cool. Alrighty. Use the PC? Yes. N no? Yes? I said yes. I press enter. Why do I have issues? I don't know how to stream for my stream. <laughs> Help! Oh, I had to click it with the mouse? Okay, we're ready. We're gearing up. Run virtual on me. Uh, have game ready, hit stream. Nice computer. Kind of looks like mine with the little glass thing. Cool. 
with a little chilla on it. Oh, I love that. Oh, we're a VTuber. Okay. Damn, that, that takes some serious skill, gotta say. Oh, hello. That's me. Oh, that's trippy. I'm looking at me within a me within a me. I... No matter how many times I look at it, my avatar is so cute. Oh, I love that. You gotta do it for you first. You gotta just want to. It's worth the money. Senra Nina is a great name, too. Let's enjoy streaming today. Aw. Aim for 10,000 subscribers. Yeah! Always. Aim aim big. Alright. I have the game ready. If I remember correctly, this game has no saves. This sucks. <laughs> Gotta redo the whole thing. Okay, W-A-S-D and then E. Okay. Stream started. <laughs> let's go and let's go. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best today. All we, I need to do is deliver these two pieces of paper. I hope I can clear this today. All right, let's do it. I'm here. Okay, we got a little character. So we're playing a game within a game and I'm streaming within a stream. This is, this is really meta. This is some inception shit right here. And I can't drop dead. Just two more. I'm excited to get streaming going. I know I keep saying it, um, but I'm really excited to be able to chat with you guys in real time. I love chatting with you guys in the comments as well, so. What is that? Oh, hello. Only a bit to go. This is trippy, by the way. Oh. Come on, guys. We can do it together. How far are you? We got two more to go. I don't know what that means for this game, but we're... We're only a bit. You listen to the others. We're live. Things are going good. Let's not disappoint the stream. She has two more pieces of paper to deliver. So I Love Nina is very active. Oh, I can run. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh. This is interesting. Just hopping along, don't mind me. I won't get killed. I'm gonna get killed in like two seconds, aren't I? What is this? Is it locked? I think that means it's locked. Oh shit! Uh oh. Uh oh, am I gonna die? Shit's getting real. Run away! Oh shit, okay, I'm running! I'm running the other way! I hope this is the right way to run! I'm going! I'm hopping! We're bunny hopping it! We're going down! Go, 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 go! I don't know what the fuck to do! Oh my god! Where do I go? Don't get caught! Here! Okay, I won't! That's locked! Oh shit, okay! We going. There's no saves. We're fucked. Did I make it? Did we make it? Yeah, baby, we made it. Is it this? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Run away! We've come so far. Oh no! I just came. Is it over? I would lose my vision. Lam, I'm reading the comments are great. <laughs> We're toast, man. Damn, that thing came out of nowhere. This is scary. Lam, uh oh. So, what do I do about that? Do I leave? Like, I died. We have to start from the beginning again. No saves is too cruel. Well. This game is not suited for me. Is it a rage game? Seems like a rage game. Do you have any other recommendations? Is there anything you'd be interested to try this? Newgames.io Nina Games Nice! Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So do we click on this? Horror game only for Senra Nina. Oh, that... Watch out for spammy links, ma'am. 
Senra Nina, you are kind of asking for it. Let's take a look. Is this going to be like the ring? We download this game and then shit's going to get real. Oh, no. New game site. The plan is to update the game for every stream. I hope you enjoy it. It's a site that I always use. Let's try this game. Oh, so if we use, use it already, then I guess okay. Downloading. I press the button that says download. Okay. Just chilling over here. Our camera's still going. New game has been installed. Oh. Oh. Can you maybe check out the entrance? Uh. What is this? This is fucking Kowloon on. Uh, we're back in Kowloon! I hate it. This is a very different game from what we were playing originally. Can we go back to the maze game? Oh, fuck. We need a code. Oh, I keep turning the camera and not in the game. What is this? Uh, oh, it's really trivial playing a game within a game. So we need a code. Oh, what the fuck? The streamer is set up with murder. The blood on the floor. So what is this? A game? Are we going to play a game within a game? Oh, four. Four. Okay. Four. I got you. Green four. What is there blood here? Oh, there's a thing. Oh, five. Green five. Sorry. Green four. Red five. Green four. Red five. I see there's a thing on the chair here. Blue seven. Green four. Red five. Blue seven. We need a yellow one. <laughs> Controlling this is really weird. Uh, okay. Green four. Red five. Blue seven. We need a yellow. A yellow number. Not. Okay, there and there. I feel like it's in this room, this other room. I mean, I'm willing to guess. We can take a guess. Can we do it? Okay, there we go. Okay, red four. Or was it green four? It was green four. Red five. So, uh, E? Red five. Blue seven. Oh, we don't know the last number. Four colors. Are there four colored numbers? Did you guys find the yellow one? And then it was a uh, green four. Hmm. Oh, what the? Oh, <laughs> I was tripping out. I was like, why does it look different? That's why it's my, it's my room. Just tripping out, don't mind me, as I play the game within the game. The sliding doors, we did the sliding doors. Oh, is this a door? It's so weird to control the garbage bag at the back of the room. Is that the one we're missing? Oh, yep, three. That's it. Thank you guys. Now I, I got the rest of them. Red five, green four, blue seven. Three was the missing number. All right, so it is. Uh, red five, blue seven. Yellow three, and then four. Bam! Thanks, chat. Within the game. Whoa! Congratulations! Holy shit! What is she's my type? What happened? Are you okay? Plastic surgery? Are you okay? What the fuck? 
Hawaii, I like it. Holy shit. This is the winner. <laughs> what the heck? It was somewhat scary. Hmm, I think there's a continuation night, right? Holy crap, the message influx. Like, brrr, like what, what? I'll protect Nina, what? What do you mean, face? Uh-oh. So wait, gorgeous, let's show you. Uh-oh. I think that's like a VTuber's worst nightmare is to reveal their face before they were ready. Anybody that's faceless. Keep streaming the games I sent, otherwise bad things will happen. This user is not in your friend list. Block that shit! Oh. This is bad. My face got exposed during the stream and I got a strange message. What should I do? I'm scared. So I think Asuka is the bestie. That's not good. I'm so sorry. I'm at work right now and I can't talk. Can we meet tomorrow? I'll hear you out in person. Don't overthink it. Yeah, thanks. Nice. Okay. Should we talk to somebody else? Like mom, maybe? Well, I guess mom's not very supportive, so... Oh. Uh, yes. Is that the train? How do I go back? What's Chili's Cafe? Yeah, introducing the new menu. Wow! That's for the night shift, right? Like, I love that, like, Chili's Coffee, like, that's, like, their universe is, like, interconnected. That's great. And then the last one is who? Nope. Scare cat, please. Let's start over. Blocked? Uh-oh. All right, won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Who is... is That's not good. So what happened, I wonder? Hot little toilet. Is that my doorbell? Can't see much. I'm always watching over you? What in the Slender Man is that shit? Big brother? Oh, fuck. That's fucked. It went dark. Uh oh. We black out. Was it a nightmare? Okay. So our computer is safe, but that's even more worrisome. Trash pickup day. Collect the garbage from the bins around the house. Oh god. There's no use blocking me, just listen to what I say. <gasps> oh, that's fucked! Ooh, that's not good. That's less good. Antivirus. We got antivirus software. <laughs> that's smart. I don't know why you didn't have it installed before. Click on nothing, download nothing that you don't know what from. Alright, we got trash. Is it daylight? It's daylight. <laughs> I don't know why the, the clock thing scared me. I was like, what is that? Okay, got trash in the living room. Oh, lots of trash. Good. I am the keeper of the trash. Did I... Not? Did I just throw it in there? I'm confused. How do I gather it? I clicked on it like I did the other ones. Hello? I guess we just gather all of the trash first. Yeah, I think so. Any trash bins in here? My god, I have a lot of trash bins for... A single person in an apartment. I have like five trash cans everywhere. Nice. Let's 
So is that all of the trash? Am I missing one? Trash in the closet? Just me? Okay. And the bins around the house. I think I did. I think I got them all, no? The trash in the shower? That would be insane. I would call myself an insane person if that was the case. We already got these. I think we got them all, to be honest. Oh, this is like one in my bedroom for some reason. My stuffed animal is gone. Uh-oh. I did, though. I did the thing. Why do I have difficulty? Do I have to pick up, uh, is there like trash items that I need to grab? Garbage from all the bins. I did though. Ah, okay, I need to select it. Gotcha. Take it to the dump. Trash pickup area. Nice. Whoa. It's daylight. Oh, yeah. I'm just a floating trash bag. <laughs> I like that. Or I'm just living my life here. Hopefully there's no stalkers around. Gonna get very dark very quickly if that's the case. So this is my place. All right. What's going on in here? Renovation. Checking out my neighbors. <laughs> He's super nosy. Let's not. I'm assuming we gotta go down to a, what street level probably. Tripping out in the elevator. Oh, hello, sir. You... You good? Oh, he left. Oh! Taking myself out with the doors. I love the chinchilla everywhere. They're so cute, chinchillas. Hello, sir. Are you pruning the... Yep. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah. This is the right way to go, I think. Got a cute little neighborhood here. Very clean. Trash pickup area is over yonder. Any stalkers around? I hope not. Oh. Hello. You too, eh? Hi. Can I help you with something? You, you good? You approached really fast. Just, you, yeah, you just, uh, bye. Have fun with that. Totally, totally good. Look at, I'm stalking you now. Huh? I would like <laughs> Peepsy! <laughs> Peepsy! And this is for sure Cowpie Co. This. And this. GG. What is that? Lemon? Oh, black coffee. Uh, the premium tea. I recognize. And then this is... I have this in my fridge right now. Uh, oh, that's awesome. I love how like similar... I love that you can recognize labels by like the design and color and stuff. I just, I love that. Bye. <sighs> Creepy. It's gonna go back home. Just gonna mind my own business. I gotta go meet up with my friend at the cafe and say that everything's fucked because my face got revealed. More snacks! I love this. I would love the vending machines. 
I would love vending machines in my building. Is that our bestie? I'm almost there. I'll go to your entrance, so wait in the house. Okay, bestie. Will do. I don't remember which house was mine, but I think that's what the blue paint's for. Or like, uh, tarp. Blue tarp. Hope everything's okay in there and they're not cleaning up a dead body. I'm just hanging out. Woo, thank God, I am home safe and sound. You'd think that I would feel safer. At least they take off my shoes for me. <laughs> I'm wearing the same shit as yesterday. I don't know if that's concerning. Cool. Well, we're just hanging out then. Can I fix my computer? Anything? Nothing? Oh! I'm here! Yeah, bestie! Let's do it! I don't know why my doorbell sounds like a train sound, but let's go! Is that my bestie? Hi, bestie. You looking good, bestie. Just gotta check, because there's creepers by the trash. Hello, bestie! I'm here. You okay? Did you sleep at all? You don't look too good. We'll talk later. It's probably best, better for us to see the sun right now. Get out of the house. Go have some food. Much wanted, needed. Are we at the cafe? We are, we're at the cafe! We didn't play for the channel, but this is in their other game and you have to like help run the coffee shop and shit gets real. Oh, that's awesome. That's a really smart way of doing that too. Ooh, look at the reflection. Woo, check me out. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I love it, it's like Starbucks. Except way more appetizing. Look at this, so nice. I want to eat here. Y'all are making me hungry. Hello, bestie. You, do I order? Welcome. I'll be happy to take your order. Thank you, sir. Hot coffee, iced coffee. I would like prefer tea over coffee, but we'll take the hot. Okay, hot coffee. Would that be all? Uh, let's get some food. Matcha cake? Oh yeah, matcha cake. Matcha cake! Please grab your order from the counter on the right. Thank you very much, sir. Finish ordering? Yes, ma'am. I'm still debating about what to order. Could you hang around a bit until I decide? Of course. Am I supposed to get something on this side? Bestie! Do I, can I leave you here and just explore the coffee shop a little bit? Or is that rude? I, oh, I guess I could talk to you. Excuse me, young lady. Good evening. I would like to ask you a quick question. Is that person over there your friend? Yes. That's good to hear. I happen to be quite a fan of the coffee they serve here, but the taste tends to change before something is about to happen. What? It began to taste off again. Psychic coffee? I can't help but find him suspicious. No matter how safe Japan might be, not everyone is in the right mind, so we must not let our guard down. I have a feeling we will meet again. Until then, take care. Thank you for your unsolicited odd warning of advice from your coffee tasting off when bad things are about to happen. Are you warning me about my friend? Or are you warning me about like things in general are bad, shit's gonna get real. Can I get my matcha cake? Should be this thing, right? Ma'am, ma are you ready to order, ma'am? Girl? I feel like this is a normal occurrence that we've come here before. Look at the goodies. Look at the different types of coffee. Yum. For those that like coffee. I love the different designs, it's great. Um, 
We're just gonna hang out and talk to everybody here. Am I getting advice on what to eat? It's been a while. How have you been? It's been since high school graduation, right? How are things going? It's been a long time, too. Too bad we couldn't go to the same college. We were always together in our high school days. Time really flies. Lately, I've been trying my best to learn from my seniors at work. How about you, Mayumi? Yeah, work's been fine for me as well. Actually, I've been eyeing someone. He's my colleague. He's both handsome and hardworking. He said he likes skinny girls. Oh, really? Hmm, but you're eating all of that? Whoa, okay, hey there. Yep, I'm in the mood for some sweets. Um, so I'm seeing that you're trying to convince the guy to like the real you? Not really. I don't want to be his ideal woman. Then you should stop. That's different from this. It's not different. You're gonna gain weight. It'll be fine. A bite or two won't make me fat. Hey, you're already fat. And I can't stand you gaining even more. What the fuck? You guys aren't supportive friends. Let her eat what she wants. She wants some fucking treats and shit. Oh, what a horrible conversation to eavesdrop into. Man, be nice to people. You don't know what they're going through. They want a little treat. Have a treat. Who the fuck are you in the corner here? Sith Lord. This is my stalker. Uh, Hasaku-san. Where have you gone? You haven't finished teaching me yet. I can't go on without you, Hasaku-san. There's still so much to learn. Why? I'm so sorry. I have to go grab my order. Yes, thank you. I feel bad for that guy in the corner. And then there's the creepy guy in the hoodie. Maybe he just wants to be alone. Maybe he's just minding his own business and has the hoodie up and his headphones on. And he's just jamming away. Or maybe he's the stalker. Eating my cake and my coffee? You said your face got exposed during the stream. What happened? My avatar was removed before I knew it. I don't know. How is it even possible? Have you checked for viruses? I did and found nothing. Is that so? Is it possible that your PC got hacked? Do you remember what you did during your stream? I played a game a viewer sent to me. Boom. Suspicion links, man. Don't do it. I, I had a, a friend of mine got hacked because she clicked on a link that she thought was um, assistance from somebody and it was a phishing link. It was a bug link. And uh, so a lot of her, her account got hacked. It was really bad. Don't click on links so you don't know what they are. And as a tip, you can usually hover over links and see what the real link goes to. Um, just don't fall for things like that. Look for spelling errors, things like that. It, like, it's really, really bad nowadays. That has to be it. They may be your fans, but you don't know who they are at the end of the day. Also true. You can't open random files like that. Yes, ma'am. Don't play that game anymore, yeah? About that, I want to stop, but... But... Is there a problem? I received a threat mess- Yes, please tell her. He told me to keep streaming the game. So that's what you meant by strange message. Hi. That's terrifying. Ignoring might make things worse. If the game itself seems okay, it may be better to continue streaming it. Call the cops! Hi, buddy. Who would do such a thing? Hmm. One thing I can say is viewers are all people you've never met, so there's no way of knowing what they're thinking. Yeah. Either way, you won't be in that much trouble just because a few fans saw your face, right? What's the worst that could happen? Your house is on auto-lock doors too, so security seems great. Don't think too much about it. I mean, there's maybe not enough like reason to call the cops here. I also don't know how cops there would respond. I'm assuming this is in Japan. But here, you can't just be like, somebody threatened me. Like, that's not gonna work. It's too much hassle for that, so. Keep documenting, keep documentation of it. And if it escalates, then call the cops, I guess, but. There's no use in overthinking what already happens, right? Oh, by the way, 
Didn't you say you broke up with your boyfriend? Why did you? Yeah, we, we blocked him on our phone, so... Sorry if I'm being insensitive. We just weren't a good match. I see. Shit happens, right? Well, if there's anything else, you can let me know. The fuck? Well then, shall we get going? Huh? What's wrong? Behind? What happened? Did you try to take a picture of me? Don't scare me like that. Getting the creeps. Let's go home. Uh oh. I think this is a good place to stop. It was great talking to you. Call me again anytime, okay? See you later then. Is it gonna be like a happy death day situation? I won't elaborate any more than that if you haven't seen the movie. Go back to our creepy. It's totally so What the fuck? Absolutely not. I would leave the elevator. Damn, he came out of nowhere. You first, fucker. Absolutely not. Go. Leave. Ew. Ew. <laughs> it went in his clothes. Absolutely not. I would be like, you go first. You ran in here. You're in such a rush. Go. Ugh. I'm watching you, bitch. The thing is, they're watching me. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if they don't- if they get out with us and they're looking for, uh, our apartment, right? Because it's people that you don't think. So they cleaned up the stuff here. I think it's the second to the last one is ours. Yeah. Ugh. Weird. Nice. What the heck? Is that my alarm? My computer? I think it's my computer. Huh? Uh-oh. Is the key broken? I think I had a screwdriver somewhere. Is this my computer going off? No. Oh, stream. Gotcha, it's my alarm. What is this, the screwdriver? <laughs> That's hilarious. Use the bathroom again for some reason. Shouldn't we call the landlord about that? Like, by the way, it's fucked up. Yes. Let's do it. Hopefully nothing goes wrong this time. Virtual me. How do I do the thing? Transform. Bam! Game going. I remember the rules. Ooh. Stream. I'm gonna continue yesterday's game today. Mysterious viewer's game. Continuation. Was yesterday's face reveal okay? The police are the enemy. I'm looking forward to it. You're not going to show your face today? Since you're saving her, maybe she's a princess? I'm supposed to help a lady not get caught by the police. Oh, in the game? Okay. Nice atmosphere. Good luck. I love Nina. You are on my shit list right now, lady. This looks remarkably... I was going to say it kind of looks like my neighborhood, but it's not. A little dingier than my neighborhood. My stream is still up. So I have to help somebody. Hmm. We'll figure it out. The game within a game. This is really crafty. It must be very difficult to figure out how to program a game within a game. So that like the controls are the same but different, but slightly, you know. Cause like I can still move and see like around my stream, but then I can also move. So 
the person one person said the police are the enemies so I kind of wonder if maybe I shouldn't run into them I don't know where I'm, I don't know what I'm doing Maybe you're supposed to lower it? I did! What's gonna happen? I did lower it. Did it open up something? That looks relevant. <laughs> Y'all are a bit delayed this time. I go to Chilla's coffee. What? Nina, what the fuck? I love Nina. Were you the person in the hoodie? I bet you were the person in the hoodie. That's a cop. Why does he float in an- um, why are the controls inverted? Kind of. And I think I don't want to get caught by the cops. I think that's the, the goal, right? Fuck. Sir. It's really well oh, fuck. I'm at a dead end. Oh, that's good. He left. Fuck! I think I need to go in that little pink door. I mean, I don't know. I'm like literally guessing, but... I think I go around this way. And then I can head him off. No? What is it? Is that a woman? Oh, I think it is a, a woman. A lady? A woman's toilet, lol. Okay, are we gonna slide over the, the fucking Chilla's Coffee comment? We're just, we're just sliding over that? Maybe you bring them here? Bring who here? So we need a woman to access the door? Where is she? These little games. <laughs> There's something weird about them. So I have to what? Go get the lady? And then not get caught by the cops and go through the pink door? I think that's it. If I can find the lady. It's really trippy. Game within a game. <laughs> Uh, this is where I was at the beginning of the game. So I have to go find somebody? I do think it's funny that after we have like a scare, this game is about uh, needing the police or avoiding the police. The irony of that does not go unnoticed. So... This is a dead end, though. He's just doing the moonwalk that way. Uh, I don't think we want to get caught by him. Although, I feel like it would end the stream faster if I did. <laughs> Sir? Can you and your moonwalk calm down? So he goes in a specific path. So, this is a dead end. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, you look possessed, but all right. Oh. So now I guess definitely don't get caught. Oh, it's so hard to see. Go, 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 go. Kind of looks like a ghost. Yeah, she does. All right, let's go. I brought the lady. No? Yeah, baby! Next, congratulations. Good luck. Congratulations. You did your best. Good job. We cleared it. 
It seems like this is the end of this stage. I enjoyed the depth of the game systems compared to the last one. Well then, we've cleared the mission, so we will end the stream for today. Thank you for doing so much for- <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Did the stream go well? Did our thing- we stayed virtual? I am exhausted. I should take a bath. Okay. I assume all went well with the stream this time. Anybody hiding in my closets? Okay, just checking. Oh, I have a little balcony. I didn't notice that before. Oh. I didn't notice this before. This is cool. Probably should have kept it closed for sound purposes, but you know what? If it was fine, it was fine. Very pretty. Do we have a moon and a... a second moon? <laughs> Maybe it's the reflection of the sun. Is that the air conditioning or the bathtub? What? Why did the water turn on? Did you just turn the water on from out here? What? That's trippy as hell. Or did someone turn on the bath for me? That's kind of weird. Is it just me? I don't have a fancy tub like this. Mine has a sink. Or a huge faucet. You just go whoop. <laughs> the tub is talking to me. Ah, that's great. Tub's like, he's ready. All right. Soak our problems away. Have some relaxation. I'm sure no one's going to stare at us from the corners. Very nice. Very nice. Can we play with anything? Not some music. Little TV, some shadows. No, I'm just chilling out. Can we move? Nope. Ah. Just... Uh. Our door. What the heck? That just opened a little bit. What the fuck? Can I do anything? That's an irritating noise. I can't do anything. I don't seem to be able to do anything except open and close the door. Oh, that was not pleasant. What in the hell? Someone tried to open my door? That was very clever, by the way, because from this angle, I thought it was a window, but I actually realize right now that it's the door. And the door opened a little bit and closed enough to just see it. That's fucked. Ooh. That is not great. I was so scared I couldn't sleep well. Why would you go to sleep? That was a psychic phenomenon yesterday, right? What do you mean, a psychotic break? I don't think I have spiritual senses. Should I ask somebody? Yeah, I would have had somebody stay the night with me at least or leave for the night and go hang out. I creeped myself out. I, I don't know that I would have gone to bed. I feel like I would have called somebody uh, or had someone come stay the night with me or left. Especially after, like, the threatening messages and shit. Just checking, you know, just gotta check. Okay, looks like we have something at the front door. Anything in here? Chilla's residence. I'm Miyamoto, the manager of the condominium. Please get in touch with me anytime if there are any problems. Contact us. Yeah, I got a problem. It's a stalker. Um... I'm worried about yesterday. Should I call the manager? Um, I mean, what are you going to tell them exactly? Oh, we're going to call them just to, to call them. But like, honestly, what would you say? I was in the bathtub and I thought somebody opened the door. Like, you don't have proof of it. And then, I mean, you could say like the toilet door was locked and stuff, but we'll call the manager just to 
hedge our bets. But we also don't know who this person is. Like, this could be the person that's breaking in. We don't know. I'm Miyamoto, the building manager of Chilla's residence. Excuse me, but do you happen to reside in Chilla's residence? Could you please tell me your room number? 705. You must be Miss Nina. Um, what can I do for you today? I would like to know the history of this. What? I'd be like, is the door... <laughs> History, are you asking if your room is a stigmatized property? That's a big thing, especially in Japan, or something like that. No, nothing of that sort has happened before. If there was, we are obligated to notify you before you move in. Uh, so there is no need to worry. I don't know what the rule is in Japan, but here they're only allowed to notify you if it happened within a year of you moving in. So if there's a history in the house of murder or something bad that happened, um, People are only allowed, uh, they're only obligated to tell you if it's like within a year period. Like if it happened like three, four years ago, or even two years ago, they're technically not legally obligated to tell you anything. But if something unusual happens, it could just be your imagination. Either way, it probably has nothing to do with the apartment itself. But if something does happen, huh? Let's say, for example, you get into a stalker it okay okay stalker incident we can provide a consultation on such matters so if anything else comes up again please feel free to contact us yeah i have i have a I, there's a stalker it happened why is that the example now if you excuse me oh that made me feel worse can we lock the door let's get can we get one of the uh, you know the bars that you go or get a chair just put it under the doorknob jeez louise this is not good not good stream can we talk to anybody mom you may find it fun now but it's not something you can do forever I can't support you even if I want to you understand how I feel right you're so supportive mom what the fuck Okay, blocked. Okay. <laughs> Things are great. Ugh. Ugh. Do I have any food? Nothing? Just going straight to the stream? Alright, straight to the stream we go. Virtual me. Bam. Transformed. Game. Stream. Boom. Let's go. Chill is art, making a game within a game. Are you helping the lady again? How about today? How about you showing your face? First time I'm watching. Game from a viewer. I'm gonna continue yesterday's game today. It seems similar to yesterday. Uh, is this a convenience store? Good luck. Looking forward to it. First time I'm watching. Okay. Man, chill is art. They're like, if you want a game, we got a game within a game. You get a couple of games within the game. Creepy. So it's a convenience store. And then there's I Love the. Uh, what? So I'm assuming we have to avoid them again. Oh, he's the lover again. Yay! The game will go on. Lower the lever. I did! You can help the woman now. Okay, so we gotta find her again. This seems like a dead end. Did you enjoy your bath yesterday? Okay. Fucking Isle of Nina. This. What the fuck? Can I report her? Can we find. What the. I don't even know what to do. I'd literally be like, hey, Nina, you and me need to have a fucking talk. What the fuck? Where's the woman? Oh, there she is, there she is, there she is. I see her, she's tall. Hello, ma'am. You look like a fucking ghost. Are you I love Nina? Because... I found Reiko. 
I know a lady named Reiko. She's very nice. What? Reiko? You named her Reiko? So, you were Reiko-san. That's the same name as my friend. I came to help. Reiko is the same name. Reiko, thank you. Are you keeping up? Hey. Where did she become Reiko? <laughs> All the people freaking out. No, 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 no. Go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Ah, oh, fuck. We're trapped. We're trapped. Unless he, like, he backs off. Oh, he, he backed off. It's the same as yesterday. You have to take the woman to the- Yeah, I know! We got trapped by the fucking cop. That's a dead end. I think oh! mm -hmm. oh, oh, I don't care. 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 Oh god. The TV turned on on its own. Is it broken? Maybe my room is cursed. <laughs> As if. What's wrong, Nina? What's that sound? It was an explosion. Heh. <laughs> As if. Lower the lever, open the gate, take the woman to the door. Did you turn on the TV? This is thrilling. Holy fuck. I lost my whole place. Hey, there's the door. Yeah, we did it! Is that my stomach? <laughs> Who's hungry? Stay well, Reiko. Cute. Are you hungry? What do you do with the door? See you, Reiko. I'll come watch again tomorrow. Congratulations. Good game. It's perfect timing, so let's finish for today. As expected, Nina. I'll be back tomorrow, so please come check it out. <sighs> this is weird. I'm so hungry. I'm going to die. <laughs> Was there something in the fridge? Uh, I was good. I did say we should probably eat some food. Or maybe I thought it and didn't say it. My god, my stomach! Okay, what was the TV thing? And why are we not gonna comment that our fan who sent us the game is the one who's saying, like, enjoy your bath, or I like the coffee shop too? Like, what the fuck? There's my TV remote. We're just not gonna do anything about that? Of course. What should I do? Ooh, her eats! <laughs> Nearby convenience store? Oh, both are... One is like, leave the apartment. The other one is like, invite potentially a stranger to know your address. At least in this situation. Um... Eats? <laughs> Ooh, her sounds good. Does it matter? Can I do anything? Oh. Sh what? Did I do it? <laughs> I didn't do it. What'd I do? Did I order it already? Holy fuck! There's some bitch in my- I would float- Ew, what? Well, excuse me? I would rip that door. Excuse me! Did she just, like, throw something through my door? What the hell? Oh my god. Is it the Uber Eats? U Uber Eats? Hi. You got some- this is Uher. <laughs> you were not the person that was staring in my- my mailbox. Hello. <laughs> Delivery, um... Was your order takoyaki? No. My apologies. It was pizza, right? No. Hold up. You're the VTuber that got their face exposed, right? Today's a good day. I've been supporting you for a long time. Please keep up the good work. Uh, what about the order? Man, I'm glad I met you. Ah, uh, also not a great idea to open the door without a security chain. Please be careful. Order food on the phone. <laughs> what was that guy? Oh boy, I'm so hungry. Screw it. Let's go to the convenience store. Wait, so he didn't give us our food? Well, that's fucked. 
I mean, he was nice. He was just a very excited person. But he fucked up our order. Aw, oh, man. There's nothing worse than when you try to be lazy and it doesn't work. <laughs> I... Close that, please. Who are you? Were you the one looking at my door? You didn't have a hat on. The person didn't have a hat on, though. Um... You're Miss Nina, is that correct? How do you know? Who? It's Miyamoto, your building manager. Um, excuse me, but do you live alone? Excuse you! You do not need to know that information. They probably already know, though, from our, uh, our lease. It's dangerous for a girl to live alone. What about a boyfriend? None of your fucking beeswax. Not at the moment. At the moment, huh? I get the feeling you were with someone until recently. What a waste. Fuck off! Why did you break up? Was he a bad person? Was there a bad reason? Was there that bad of a reason? Um, oh. Pardon me. I'm being too nosy, aren't I? Yes, you are. I don't know who you are and you're just like, you don't have a boyfriend? You live alone? What happened to your boyfriend? What the fuck? Well, then I'm the manager here if anything happens in this building. You know who to call. No, I won't anymore. I'll fix it myself. I got a screwdriver. I can do things. Fuck that noise. I mean, maybe she's just trying to be like overly friendly, but... Ugh. That's still weird. Oh my god, the elevator. That's still weird to me. Like, if you don't know anybody and you're just like inferring all the shit about their life, trying to get details and fish for information. Mm-hmm. That's a hard pass. I would eat the stuff in here. They're mostly drinks, though. Actually, they're all drinks, so it's a little sad. No food. Okay. We're out on the street. Are y'all happy? Someone can follow us home or go hang out in our apartment while we're out at the store. So it's someone of our fan. It's someone in the area because they obviously can follow us. Um... So that's creepy. It's someone that knows what we're up to as well. And our habits. Because they're either watching us or it's somebody that knows us. And I don't see any cameras or anything. But you never know. If you're not looking for it, you probably won't find it. And this lady is not looking for it. Oh, do I have to wait? I'm so polite. Walk, please. Yeah! I love that. That's a cool detail. Oh, fuck! Sir! The rude as fuck. You see that light there? Or, well, you see this light here? My right of way. I'm walking here! Convenience store. I only came to buy dinner. Only dinner. I'm starving today, so it's pro one is probably not enough. On days like this, I have to buy alcohol and drinks. What the fuck? We're here for only dinner. Hello, sir. Cup of noodles? Is that dinner or are we trying to find like a real dinner, like a heat up dinner? Movies. Ooh. Drinks. Best zero. I get to pick? <laughs> and clean. Best zero. Oh, I got a lot of, of choices. This green tea is my favorite, though. Calfico. Love it. Okay. This is hilarious. Get some food so we can get a sandwich. Ooh, this looks good. Kind of a mini bento. It looks like inari rice. Looks like some sushi. Another sandwich. This definitely looks good. Why not? And then what's this over here? Some cup of noodles? Yeah. <laughs> Kapu noodles! Curry, cup of noodles, cup of noodles, and then 
the other brains. I love this, it's cute. Looks good to me, but we lost our drink. I don't know if we got it at the same time. Hello, sir. Do I have to pick out all of them? No? Oh, I'm getting all of them. <laughs> oh my god. I am just stocking it up. Do we really want alcohol? Is this really the move after the nights that we've been having? Oh man. I don't know if this is the move, but all right. Is this just gonna make things worse? <laughs> what the fuck? You again. Ugh. Ice cream. I want some. Oh my god, do you not have any? <laughs> do you not have any self-control, lady? This is why you don't go to the convenience store or the grocery store when you're hungry. Ooh, we got flavors here. Um, I don't know what they say, though. We'll go with that one. Looks yummy. Fucked. After eating ice cream, I'm going to want something salty. What the fuck? Just buy the convenience store. We don't have anything at home, by the way, so it does kind of, when you're out, it's like, might as well just get everything, I guess. I don't know. Are there any shrimp chips? Those are like fire. Wasabi? No way. I am not very good with spicy food. Also, we said salty, not spicy. You know what I mean? Like, there's a difference. I don't know what those are. I want to say it kind of looks like tempura or like, doesn't look like a shrimp chip. I think that's what the, uh, I don't know. I can't read it. I'm just guessing. Fuck it. This one looks good. They probably all look good. Just one, oh my god, woman. What looks good? What the fuck? What do I have to get? Oh, just anything? Pocky sticks? Uh, cookies? More chips? This is hilarious. What? Cookies? So we want like an extra snack? Eh, let's get some pocky sticks. Yeah, why not? Do you guys know any of these snacks? Hello? I've ordered your entire store worth of food. I could eat a horse, apparently. Thank you, today's dinner. I hope it holds also just some snacks for the apartment. Oh, the person's gone. Thank you, sir. Stay. Hello. Who the fuck are you? Oh my God, it's the ex-boyfriend. Been a while. Uh, Rikia, please don't run. I have something important to tell you. Stop. You're blocking me, aren't you? That's why I came to talk to you directly. Your friend is acting suspiciously. I don't want to hear- No, this is- Uh, come on, don't say that. Hear me out. Hey there, what are you doing? I have evidence. Send me a message. Holy fuck. Oh, he's stepping in for me? Oh, that's a nice clerk. That's a nice guy. He obviously could tell that I was uncomfortable. That's a nice store clerk. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, but that's interesting. So they're saying it's our friend. The one who made me food. Did she fucking drop hallucinogenics in there? This guy's a red herring, unless it's my friend. And of course, we don't want to listen to the person that we've been having a fight with, right? Our ex-boyfriend, like, why? Oh, don't follow me home, what the fuck? I wish I could walk any other way. Like, I would not walk home. I would go back into the store. But the person's gone. Can I confront you? Yeah, what's up, bitch? What's your issue? Why don't you go in? <laughs> he went into the store. <laughs> What's your issue? Uh. 
Uh, I can't do anything about that. I would literally call anybody and be like, this fucking guy, start filming. Are we really seriously gonna walk back to our apartment like this? Are you fucking joking? Why would you ever? Because you're just gonna, first of all, why would you walk down the alley with this fucking guy here? This person. We don't know the gender, but he looks like a dude. But like, the fuck would you do this for? I know it's your home neighborhood, but like, you don't know what this person's gonna do. You know what their intentions are. Excuse you. I'm walking backwards. I'm keeping my eye on you. Watch somebody just fucking tackle me from behind. Absolutely not. I mean, they know your fucking building now. That's the thing. Like, they don't need to know your fucking room number because they can look it up or they can find it. It's not that hard to find this information. Ugh. Lady, you made some bad choices. Talking about our character. Don't trust that for a minute. But I feel like just for the way that the story is going, that's a red herring. Oh, oh. It's a red herring. I was gonna say you're a red herring, motherfucker. Please, this is twice. I don't know if it was the same person. I don't remember. I'm too scared now. Just, 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 just go. Have at it. He just ran up the fucking stairs. Are we seriously? I mean, they obviously know our floor. It can close now. Can we close the fucking... Fuck you. Are we really gonna go back to our apartment? Just saying that they don't already know it, which they probably do. You're gonna lead him right to it? Cause he can just... Oh my God, he's coming. What the fuck? This is so fucked. Where's my building manager? Fuck it, I'll call her. Cause now they know. What the fuck? I'm being followed. I'm really creeped out. I'm scared. He found my home. What should I do? Now? Now is when you text this? I would have texted this when the fucker showed up at the convenience store. Are you kidding? Holy shit. Are you home now? Did you lock the doors? Fuck that. He knows where I live. Yeah. It's an auto lock, so it's locked. Should I call the police? Yes. It may be better to refrain from them for the time now without much evidence. I doubt the police will do anything, even if they come. You might provoke the guy, so it's dangerous. It's already dangerous. But there might be better to at least... Holy fuck. You're typing too fast. I saw... What the hell? I wish I could come over. I'm at way at work tomorrow as well. So I can help you. I'll manage somehow. We'll talk tomorrow. I'm worried. Oh my god, this is way too fast. C can you shut up? Shut up! Also, I don't trust this bitch. I don't trust her anymore. If our ex-boyfriend comes out of the woodwork to be like, hey, you really need to look at your friend. I know I'm like the last person you need to hear from. I think you should listen. It's okay, you might provoke the guy, so it's dangerous. Yeah, but it might be better to at least consult with the police. It's dangerous to go out tonight. I think it's better to go to the police box directly tomorrow while it's still bright out they should take you more seriously than over the phone all right so what do you mean he found your home who is he some guy followed me and he saw me entering my room that's scary i wish i could come over right now but i'm away for work tomorrow as well um so i can't go with you tomorrow will you be okay yeah i'll manage somehow i'm worried it's probably the same guy that sent the weird message that makes it worse Make sure you go to the police box tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is too late. Uh, be careful. Don't stress too much. Message me again. Okay, I understand. Thanks. Can we not have anybody else that we could call? Can we not call mom? I know she's kind of not supportive in the slightest, but... Thanks. Is it, like, catching up? What the hell? Oh, fuck. 
What the hell? Are you sure you can trust everything your friend says? Oh my god, stop. Stop it! You are all mine with a heart! Fuck off! Are you sure you can trust everything your friend says? What about your ex? Is it okay to ignore him? Are there others you can trust? Is it okay to rely on just one person? If it were me, I'd get more allies. Well, you're fine on your own because no matter what you do, you are all mine. That's fucked. Especially after the immediate conversation with my friend. I think just because the boyfriend was like, there's something suspicious about your friend. And then the guy in the coffee shop was like, my coffee tastes weird. And when my coffee tastes weird, weird shit happens. Is that your friend? It's Asuka. And she knows that we're texting her. And she's like, oh, I'm out of town. Are you okay? You're alone. You're only texting one person. She would know because she's the one fucking person. Unblock. Absolutely. Is this really okay? Yes. Send me the evidence. Is it, is it going to in flood messages? What do you mean my friend is suspicious? Are you talking about Asuka? Yes. Come on, let's do this. Let's do the right thing. You unblocked me. Yes. I will block your ass if you're an asshole. Now get to it. If you care about me, your friend involves your friend Asuka Osan, but as well, but recently your face got exposed during a stream, right? How did you know? Sorry, I was watching Senra and Nina's stream. He's whatever. Uh, well, if it, I didn't watch the stream, the story was spreading everywhere, so I probably would have found it anyway. Were you hacked? I'm not sure, but I ran an antivirus scan and it was fine. Never mind that. What does this have to do with Asuka? I think Asuka-san has something to do with this whole thing. Take a look at this. So I'm telling you. What is that? That's the guy, right? Guy. I just happened to see her talking to a suspicious guy today. I also don't want to believe it. No way your best friend is... But if I see something like this... Besides, Asuka-san is the only one that can enter your house freely, right? I can't help but find her suspicious. I know it's tough for you, but think about it. Boom. There it is. That's fucking real. If she has the house code and she can enter your house freely and no one else can do that, of course it's her. I know it's like your best friend. You don't want to hear about that. Change the fucking door code. Get the manager on the phone and do that. Asuka. That's impossible. But that photo. I have no choice. I have to block her. No, don't block her. Then you're going to tip her off. She can probably already read what's happening on your phone. No, no. Oh. No, this is not the way to do this. Ah, uh, we're doing things wrong. I don't think... Can we talk to mom? Fuck. Can we talk to the building manager? Change the code? Hello? No? Okay. Too clever. Oh, that's fucked. Shit's getting real, you guys. I'm so frustrated for this girl. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. But it would make sense. What is that irritating noise, too? Ooh, is it me? <gasps> it's already going. Senra, Nina, so pitiful. Abandoned by your best friend, forever alone. Just like me, I'm here alone, living in darkness. You see, we're the same. No one will come and save you. You are not allowed to be with another human being. My fucking AI- <laughs> Did my virtual me just fucking block me? Holy shit, we are. <laughs> we might be suffering a psychotic break at this point. Holy fuck. Did we even get to eat our dinner?
I know they're at the front door, but I'm just checking everything because. God, it's gonna be bestie. No? It's not the peephole? Fuck. This is not good. Is it over here? Dude, I've eaten shitting bricks. Call everyone. Go on live stream and be like, fuck! Somebody is after me. Holy shit. This is not good. What is that noise? I was assuming it was the door, but like someone knocking. That does not appear to be. <laughs> Oh, you fucker. Why would you open the windows? I mean, I suppose I was about to open. Well, I wasn't going to open the door. I was looking at the peephole. I was going to look in the peephole. This is a fucking problem. Are you kidding? The door isn't opening. What the fuck? Go out the window. To turn into the game. Holy shit. Kill them. Wasn't there? Oh, we are the game. Wasn't there a screwdriver somewhere? You're supposed to stab him with a screwdriver. Oh! We became the game. That is fucked. Okay, so is it we start from here? Yes. So the screwdriver was in the closet. Fuck. But it wasn't in the closet before, so maybe it's somewhere else. What the fuck? So he runs at me. See? Okay, what am I supposed to do? So he... Am I just supposed to look at chat? Because ca chat was like killing with a screwdriver, but there is no screwdriver. So my, should I try and like end the stream from my computer? Is that the deal? Fuck off! What am I supposed to do? I can't go out the window? Can I call people? Kill them. Y'all gonna tell me what to do? Oh, he opened the door! Fuck! I don't know how to tell where he is, though. Fuck, see? Really? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm just sitting here minding my own beeswax. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just walked right in. So his trick is just not to move? I have the screwdriver. I'm supposed to stab him with the screwdriver. Fuck you, I love Nina. I'ma get you, bitch. You're next with the screwdriver. Hopefully he didn't see me. I didn't close the door, it closed by itself. Stab him in the back, stab him in the back. Yeah, baby! Oh my god, I actually grabbed him. <laughs> so not a psychotic break?
I want to meet you. Good luck. Die, die. Scary. Lo, lo, lo. Y'all are so helpful. What the actual fuck? So did I do bad because I blocked my friend? I don't know. And she sent him after me? I mean, if, if it is her, if it's actually her, then we tipped her off by not... Can I call the cops? I'm in live chat. How do I end the game? <laughs> oh, that was kind of frustrating. It is her. Sup? Thought she stabbed me. Was that real? Am I actually stabbed or no? A dream. Ugh. Thank God. That was scary. I slept so long, but I still feel so tired. Oh, right. I have to go to the police. It's already evening. I was planning on staying awake until morning. I have to go to the consult about the stalker. I have to go before it gets too dark. I'm so tired. Are you kidding? Why don't you just call the cops at this point? But that was all fake. Okay. That was odd. So did we actually block our friend? Did we unblock her? I mean, look, I, I... Oh, he is blocked? So we didn't talk to him? Why is he blocked? So he, we never got those messages, but we still blocked our friend? That doesn't make any sense. If we never got the messages, there's no reason to block our friend. I mean, I wouldn't have blocked her to begin with because that would tip her off if there is anything going on. Otherwise, you can just have a conversation about it. He also didn't send any of it, any evidence. Well, no, I guess he did with the photograph of her and the guy that we've been seeing. Hmm... I mean, game logic tells me that it would be her, because usually people that you don't think you should talk to are the people that tell you the information that you need. But real life, I mean, if your ex, depending on what was bad, you won't normally believe your ex over your best friend. I mean, she's been nothing but supportive, but why would she be otherwise? Blocked. Huh. Very trippy so far. Other than getting caught a million fucking times. Oh, good, it's close. If it's this close, why wouldn't you go? Hello? Hi. Yes, I need help. I'm having a psychotic break. And I'm not sure who to trust. If it's my friend, my ex-boyfriend, or this random man that I keep seeing everywhere who followed me to the convenience store and then back to my apartment and then my dreams came and tried to kill me in my sleep. Something to matter? Yeah, little things. I wanted to ask about something. Is that so? Then let's go somewhere we can talk, shall we? So not at the police box? Is he a cop? No, no. You'd feel more nervous talking in the station, right? We get people like that often. Let's go to a nearby park. No, I would feel way more comfortable talking in the station. If I went to the station. I understand. You may have been hacked. On top of that, you are also being stalked. A hacker and a stalker. They are probably the same person. But sadly, without any evidence, there isn't much we can do. If you ever experience being stalked again, please get in touch with me directly. It would take too long if you called the police. I'm always near this police station. I should be able to get there straight away. I'll give you my phone number. Please give me a call anytime. Aw, what a nice person. I hope you're not the stalker. 
I will be extra careful when I patrol around here, so please do not fear. Good luck with your work. I'm rooting for you. Well, he's very nice. I hope we can actually trust him. I don't know who to trust at this point. I mean, it was a dream. The stalking situation that we dealt with, apparently. Is this really okay? I'm worried. As opposed to what? What should we do? I'm scared. Of course you are. We don't have anybody else. I'm still scarred. Still scared. Scarred. We're scarred too. Call Asuka. We blocked her though. Uh... I don't know. Because the, the dream almost tells me that like we blocked our friend and then there was nothing we could do and then bad things happened. So it almost kind of tells me like we did the bad thing by blocking our friend. Because she has been nothing but nice to us. I mean, she's been like oddly out of town whenever something happens. And then our ex came out of nowhere to say something. But now the phone says that he's blocked. So that never happened. So part of me thinks like, since that interaction never happened with the ex-boyfriend, there is nothing to fear of Asuka. We would have no reason not to call her. Also, if you really think that it's her, why not confront her? I mean, at the same time, if she's in cahoots with somebody and is dangerous, she stabbed us in our dream. Ooh, I don't know. I feel like the game is trying to push you not to call Asuka because it's trying to lay all the threat on her. But that dream kind of tells me that we did maybe the wrong thing. I mean, technically though, on the other hand, by in-game logic, we did the right thing because Asuka was the one that stabbed us and that guy was obviously working with her. And like, she might be the hacker and he might be the stalker. Uh, I don't know. Then again, you could also live by the uh, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Part of me really wants to call her just to see what would happen. And the other part of me is like, be smart and just don't call anyone else. Like, call your mom. I know your mom's not supportive, but this is way beyond the VTuber thing. This is like a stalker and somebody's actually after you. Uh, we'll call her. Are I sure I want to contact them? Oh, I don't know. What yes, fuck it. What's wrong? What happened? Sorry, I had you blocked. I just don't know who to trust these days. I know I'm being selfish. Um, but can you come? I'm really scared and I want you by my side. It's almost time for me to start streaming, though. <laughs> She's probably digesting that. Like, you fucking blocked me? Are you fucking joking? She's probably pissed. Uh. Oh, it wasn't being marked as red because I was blocked? Don't worry about it at all. I got off work early today and I'm close by. I'll be right there. That's a sign of a friend who cares about her. She also didn't know, so maybe we didn't have to tell her. <laughs> she's being a good friend so far. She's putting aside, I'm sure she's upset. She's putting that aside though to come help us. 20 minutes later. It's an ominous sound. Oh, well, we're in the bathroom. Bestie? Is it you? It is you. Okay, we asked for it. I'm glad I could come right away. 
Are you okay? Were you stalked again? No, that's not it. I just feel... No, yeah, we 100% were stalked. We were definitely stalked when we went to the convenience store. That was real. Well, actually, maybe not real. Because if the text from the ex-boyfriend didn't happen, then maybe the interaction itself didn't happen. Uh-oh. I see. Did you talk to the police? I did. I really hope they do something. I hope so, too. I'm really sorry I blocked you. You don't need to worry about that. I understand things are rough, and I'm glad you're still relying on me like this. I was shown a photo of you with that man. A photo with that man? Oh. Are you talking about the time a strange guy spoke to me nearby? I knew something was up. So he was the stalker you kept mentioning. Yikes. He came up to me out of nowhere, and I was like, um, he's the one who approached me. And he didn't say anything. When I tried to leave, he would stop me, and he wouldn't say a single word. I thought maybe he was lost or something, so I waited, but nothing, and then he just walked away. Someone had been taking pictures? I'm really sorry I suspected you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Anyone would be skeptical if they were shown something like that. Ooh, she's a good- she's turning out to be a good friend so far. What should I do? You want me- you just want me to be here? Yes, please. Alrighty. I really want you to take a break, but if that's not possible, is it might be time to consider moving? Whoa, she just went through me. Okay, well, so far, she's actually being a really good friend. She's putting aside all of anything that would be there. Like, her anger or anything towards what I've done to care for me instead, which is a really good friend. And she's understanding of why I did it, so at least I told her. For the time being, I'll wait for you to finish. Let me know if there's anything you need. Good luck with your stream. So far, she's nice. Also, if she is the hacker, though, wouldn't we be able to see her doing something? You leaving? She just totally took off. Hello. Hey. Sorry to bother. It is not a bad time, is it? I checked the fridge, but there's nothing to eat. I'll grab something from the convenience store real quick. No, I want you to stay. It'll be alright. It's very close. Um, but still, I'll be back in a jiffy. I will be right back. Mm-hmm. That's... Ugh. This looks like my street, by the way. Uh, we're gonna continue yesterday's game today. I wonder what kind of game it will be today. This is the streamer that got their face exposed. I know this place. You'll get fat if you only eat combi food. Will Reiko be here today? Hopefully you can clear it. Oh my god. This is my street. This is the convenience store. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is bad. And she left to go to the convenience store. This is her way back. And she knows. She's coming for me. Uh, this game does a good job of fucking with you. This is literally my way home. They got all the information they needed. Uh. Call the cops. Call anybody. Oh, this is so fucked. No one's after us yet. Looks remarkably exactly like my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Is it my door code and everything? My apartment and everything? As soon as I get to the home door, will it ring in real life as it rings in the game? Oh my god, wait. Don't tell me. You just realized this, girl? What the fuck? Maybe she knows this place? Nina, are you okay? And of course it's I love Nina who, who's asking the questions. I wonder where you're headed. This place is... Don't say it. Don't say it on stream.
This is so fucked, by the way. Can I not? They got through the automated door. Fuck. Fuck. The elevator is much smoother in this game than in my game. Fuck! They're coming! Oh my god. This is so bad. Why am I doing this? Why would not play this game? I would literally be like, nope, stream's over, bye. Of course, it's my door that opens. Ah, uh, what do I? Uh, is there something? Is this horror? This room is big. Nina, are you okay? I wonder where you're headed. Oh, I fucking knew it! Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. I feel a bit sick today, so I'll be ending the stream early. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm sorry, everyone. Do you have a stomach ache? Fuck. That. Shit. Oh my god. Somebody was- Me in the bathroom? Sleeping? This is evidence to send to the police. Record it with your phone because the file itself might delete. I have to... I have to contact someone. Fucking police! abso fucking lootly Are you kidding? And then call your friends. Hello? Oh, you're from earlier. I'm in some trouble. I need help. The stalker you mentioned before? Got it. Please wait right there. What should I do? I have to hide until help comes? Oh, fuck. Can we call Asuka? Oh, fuck. Did you enjoy the game? I really want to see you. We can meet today. Well then, see ya. I'm heading over now, so be ready. Fuck. I'll give you one minute! Fuck. What should I do? I have to hide before he comes. Are you fucking joking? This is, I have a horrible place to hide. This is no, no good places to hide. I have to protect myself. What should I do? A weapon. There has to be something I can defend myself with. Frying pan? Yeah, fuck yeah. This is locked? What the fuck? Since when? Thirty seconds. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're going in the closet then. There's no good place to hide. 20 seconds. Oh, this is bad. 10. Fuck. Turn off your phone. It'll give you away. My phone. Kind of. The music is so loud. You can... They're going through the doors. I can very faintly hear the doors unlock. It's gonna be a suka. She's gonna be like, are you okay? 
They're like, no, bitch, I got a frying pan. That's three doors or four doors. That's all the doors. They got to be coming here soon. Go out the balcony. Go to your neighbor's fucking porch. It's a connecting balcony. I would literally go to the neighbor's porch. Like, why don't you leave? What do I do? Am I supposed to go out there and confront them? Like, no fucking way. <laughs> Did you think you could escape in such a small place? Holding a weapon like that? It's all pointless. This isn't a game, you know. Who was it? I didn't see. Did I just have horrible timing and open the door right when they were there? <gasps> it's the guy. Oh my god, is that Asuka? No, it's the boyfriend? What the hell? And the cop? Did he just come save me with the cop? I'm glad Rikia came. Afterward, the police officer who consulted with me informed me that the stalker had been caught and that the man was a fan of Senra Nina. As he watched my streams daily, I'm told he began to follow the impression that I was his girlfriend. After misconstruing your relationship with an online media personality and being under the illusion that you are in an intimate relationship is called parasocial, it seems there are many incidents like mine. They told me to stay cautious in the future. Roll credits there. After the incident, I felt immensely indebted to Rikia for helping me, so I decided to go out with him again. I don't know if you need to do that, but I don't know. We don't know why they broke up. But he definitely looked out for her, like, unselfishly. So that's a very good flag. Like, a green flag. Like, that's a nice thing, a good thing. Nothing about Asuka, so it seems like that was a red herring itself. Unless he's the stalker. Dun dun dun. What's wrong? Hey, you're spacing out. Well, I guess it can't be helped after all that trouble. But now you have me by your side, right? Yeah. Together, strong, forever. That feels weird. Well then, I'm gonna go pick some flowers. Did he do this so he could get back in our good graces? What are you picking flowers for? Is that our bestie? Nina. I'm so sorry if what I did or said made you feel bad. Asuka. But if you could at least see this, is it okay? Yeah. Is it the boyfriend? Fuck. Just, just called it. How did you get this footage? How did he get the other footage? Fuck. They were both... If I had believed in Asuka. Oh no! We got the bad ending. That's gotta be a bad ending. Retry. So what does that mean? Do I... What is this? So instead of calling the police... Oh, so I called the police, not my ex-boyfriend. But okay. So should I call... I'm really worried. Oh, okay, so we're back here. But before the stalker comes. So I should call Asuka then, not the police. That's kind of weird because the police has nothing to do with Rikia. And I don't know why he would automatically come with the police. But okay. I'm still scared. Call Asuka? Yes. Am I sure I want to contact them? Yes. So she is the good guy. Okay. Well, let, we'll fast forward to the ending there where we have to call the police or somebody. We'll call Asuka. So I'll skip to that in a second. Okay. Okay. We're back. All right, so this is the choice. So apparently calling the police automatically calls Rikia. Also, just a quick note though, like Rikia is like 
Asuka is the only one who has your building number. For that, I would kind of take as, like, I took that as face value. It would make sense that he would have access to our building because obviously he used to live with us or he was close with us to come over and whatever. But I would assume that if you had such a bad breakup with this guy that you blocked him, that you would have changed the door code or whatever so he doesn't have access anymore. Like, if you're on such a bad relationship that you block this person. Um, so to me, it wasn't in my mind that he could access it. But of course, if he's the bad guy, he's going to turn suspicion anywhere else. But I felt like we didn't get enough information about that to be able to be like, oh, well, he would also have the key. I mean, I guess you could infer it. But like I said, if you already broke up with this guy and you blocked him, why would he have the key? Like, why wouldn't you have changed it already or whatever? We can't call the police. The building manager, what the fuck are they gonna do? So, Asuka, this is the call. She went out to go get food for some reason, despite us begging her not to. Watch it be the building manager, and she's like, hi, what do you need? Asuka's ringtone. I think it's coming from the balcony? What the fuck? Watch Asuka be dead. Next door. Get, yeah, what? She lives next door and she didn't tell us? I mean, this is what I would have, oh fuck. Why would Asuka's phone be here? I would go next door if somebody was gonna come stalk my place and you didn't leave or you couldn't leave, go next door. What the fuck? Somebody's modus operandi is here, the video I saw. With the snacks from the convenience store too. I'm scared, who would do such a terrible thing? So our stalker is literally next door to us. Holy fuck, it's me. I mean, it makes sense. So, but if we're going by what we what we know to be the parasocial, that it's somebody, a fan, who thinks they're intimate with me and have taken it too far. But who is it? I don't know why I'm checking everything. Oh! I mean, they're obviously not here. No kitchen? I mean, I would take a picture of all of this. This is obviously clear stocking. Real stocking. Can we do anything about this? What the heck? Can I do anything? My phone's dead. For the first time. What am I supposed to do? Wait here? Ha! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Let's jump out here. This is bad. This is really bad. And I can't record it because my phone's dead, of course. So what, do I go back? Is your corpse in here? Oh my god. Is that her? Oh my god, it's her. Nina, what is this place? The room next door, the balcony was open. Ugh. I'm glad you're okay, Nina. Anyway, don't worry about me. Go to the police now. It's too dangerous to stay here. Quickly, before he sees you. Asuka, hurry up. Oh, this is fucked. I have her phone. Why can't I call the police? Oh my god, it's 
It's my boyfriend. <laughs> well, we knew that. So do we need, the question is, do we need to go out the front door or the balcony? Because I went out the front door and he fucking ran at me. So do I just need to wait till he's out of view? Or do I need to go the way that I came? So maybe not the front door. So what do I need to deck him with like a pan or something? So I don't think we can go through the front door. Whoa, the window. Why is sneaking right behind him the better option than running out the front door? That's my question, but okay. So need to go back the way we came so he doesn't think that we saw him. So go back home, essentially. So now we know that they're next door. It's the stalker. Oh, fuck. We just need to go. Should I go out the window instead of the front door since apparently the front door is treacherous? Run like a motherfucker! There's no stairs. Wasn't there stairs? Oh fuck, here he comes. Close that shit. I mean, he ran... He booked it down the fucking stairs last time, so we're not safe even in the elevator. So we gotta... Hi! Oh, what's wrong? Are you in such a hurry? It's not good for a girl to walk alone at night like this. Let's go back to your room, alright? Ignore her, Miss Nina. Fuck you! I'm out! None of your beeswax! Yes, sir, yes! Police. Excuse me? Something happened? It's dangerous for a young lady. Oh, fuck. He's in on it, too. So he's not a real cop. That's kind of what I thought. He's like, let's go talk somewhere else. Run away. Hey, you. Stop right there. Oh. We're gone, bitches. To the real cops. Fuck y'all. So he paid all these people. Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Last week, SNS などで活躍する女性配信者の自宅に見知らぬ男が入り込んだ事件で今日主犯格の男など男女4人が逮捕されたことが警察への取材で明らかになりました逮捕されたのは主犯格で指示役の会社員宮本力也容疑者母親で不動産業を営む宮本由紀子容疑者母親の弟でパートの宮本由紀子容疑者母親のパートの白田詐欺を容疑者。実行役の無職悪臭共和容疑者の四名とみられています。So、his younger brother, 警察の調べでは、主犯格の宮本力也容疑者は事件の5日前ほどから元交際相手である被害者に復縁を迫っていたといい、力也容疑者は被害者に対して付きまといや盗撮、ストーカー行為のほか、wow. 悪臭容疑者に対し被害者宅への侵入を指示した疑いが。他三名には力也容疑者の犯行に手を貸した疑いがそれぞれかけられており、加えて白田容疑者には自身を警察官と偽って被害者と接触していた疑いもかけられています。I knew it was fishy when he was like, let's not talk in the station. これに対し、4人は大胸容疑を認めている模様です。続いてのニュースです。Wow. So his younger brother is the cop, a random guy he met who's unemployed and obviously. Out of his fucking mind is the stalker who was breaking and entering. His mom was our fucking building manager. I don't know if that's real or fake.、Uh, I think it's real, which is fucked. And then he masterminded the whole thing. Holy fuck, I would never live alone or date anybody ever again. And she was good the whole time. Sorry, I doubted you, bestie. Holy shit. That's fucking bonkers. Oh man, and he was literally next door to us. Ugh. 
So what do we do? Cook some food? Cook some food. Nothing like being scared on an empty stomach. That's awesome. Get to have food with our bestie. Ma'am. Thank you. This looks delicious. Huh. I'm so sorry. The last time I made you this dish, it feels like a distant past. Those guys. Looks like they got caught. I'm so glad. But who would have thought that they were all in on it? Nina, the things you had to go through. If only I had noticed how serious it was. Something like this wouldn't have happened. That's not true. That's definitely not true. Asuko, you are the reason I am here now. Thank you for putting it that way. Ugh. You should move out already. Yeah, we should. Are you fucking joking? Yeah. Be careful not to repeat the same thing. Which reminds me. Um, what is it? I heard the developer released a new game. Didn't you mention that game was too difficult for you? I heard the developers released a new game. What was it called again? The convenience store, I think? Ha ha ha, that's their other game, right? Uh, I hear it's not as tricky as Akamanto. It's a Japanese style horror game, and I hear it's easier on casual players like you, Nina. Do check it out. Like, isn't that their other game? <laughs> the true ending, meat and potato. Okay, so that's the good ending. Thank. Okay, I'm glad that I actually played again because I was like, that first off was a bad ending. It was already kind of suspicious that they both showed up, but I definitely did not suspect that the cop was actually in on it to the extent that he was. Like, I thought maybe he was just, like, a good, like, a like a good cop or whatever, but I didn't think he was, like, I don't know. I didn't put two and two together that he showed up with the boyfriend. I thought it was really weird that the boyfriend showed up, but I didn't connect the two. It's crazy that they were all in on it. Like, I usually expect one person at most in something like this. And the fact that, like, it was a whole crazy inside job, that's insane. Good job, Chilizard. I mean, if anything, they're fantastic at setting up stories with atmosphere and making you doubt everything. They have a really good way of making you get information, but then second guess one thing but then something else second guess is the thing that you didn't second guess so that you second guess both things and then you kind of go down this like rabbit hole of doubting everything and you're like what do I do they do a really good job of setting you up for something like that and they tell you just enough information to kind of put things together but also not the whole thing together well done this one is creepy too because this is like something that could actually happen um like, there's definitely, you know, the things that can happen like this, it's usually people that you know because you're lulled into a, a false sense of security. Um, I mean, like, I wouldn't doubt that in, in a game like this, it would be, like, her friend because she knows all about her and, like, what she's doing, what her habits would be. But it makes equal sense for an ex-boyfriend to know um, and to be bitter about it, right? Chill is art. Good job. Good job. I almost had my doubts uh, and erased. Really well done. If you like the game, please do a review. Like, I was like wondering, like, man, what could be like, it's like a stalker thing with parasocial. I saw that you played games within games and I was like, huh, that's kind of odd. But damn. I love that the games were a part of it. Like, no, oh, it goes quiet. <laughs> like, I love that the uh, the games themselves became a part of the paranoia. Because I first, it's like you think you're just kind of playing mini games to play mini games for the stream. And it kind of feels like, why are you playing the stream? Especially as things get more dramatic and more, like, um, more dire. You're kind of like, why are you still streaming? Like, things are this bad. Like, why would you continue to do this stuff? Like, why don't you figure out your life first? And it's really interesting um, that the games become a part of it. So like that first game is by itself, right? Because we aren't sent the game yet. And then once we are, it kind of tells you all the pieces in little things. Like the first game is like avoid the police, right? Which is exactly what you're supposed to do um, later in the game. And you're supposed to like find the woman and then get each other out. And that's basically what this game is. Is like you have to take Asuka and you both have to get out 
Um, so the games kind of parallel reality in that way, if not foreshadow things. So that's really, really clever. And then on top of that, your dreams become the real life game. So like, you know, you're getting the live stream of like, oh, this guy's in your apartment. What are you going to do? And then you're frightened so much you think it's your best friend. So it gives you that extra paranoia that she might be there. But like again, like it kind of tips you off that like that paranoia is getting to you and like it's too much. And for me, seeing that the guy was still blocked um, means that like we were kind of in and out of reality. So maybe Asuka was not the one to blame. That's why I ended up calling her again. But I really love the different layers of storytelling that were there. And like I said, like if it's all there, if you go to replay the game, like you can be like, oh, this and this and these are the hints. It's really cool. Um, really fun to experience. Um, well put together as always for Wachilla's Arts games. Um, I was like, oh man, it's gonna hit close to home. <laughs> it's gonna be freaky with the streaming thing. And I think this game comes out at a time that is very socially relevant to it because there is something really interesting about what's going on with streaming and with influencers and this kind of vast social media world that we are starting to live in almost 100% of the time, if not half the time in your life, you know? watching YouTubers like me, right? Like, you know, even the ones that are like vloggers and stuff were like, here's my life and stuff. It's all still putting on a show for entertainment. You know what I mean? And one of the things that I find frightening is how much people buy into that. You get lulled into this false sense of knowing who these people are. People like me, streamers and stuff like that, where it feels like they're putting everything out on their camera. Um, everything for you to see via Instagram, via, you know, social media platforms, TikTok, uh, YouTube, things like that. And there's something that kind of lulls you into thinking like, oh, as a viewer, you watch somebody for so long, you know who they are, you know how they are. It's very complex and very fascinating. And it's definitely a phenomenon that is happening. And I feel like more and more and more um, with TikTok, with things, because the thing is, is that you're using your phone and when you're, you know, this close and you feel like you're this close to somebody and when you're watching it on your phone or watching it on your TV or whatever, you know, it feels like it's just the screen here and me and then you. And it is, you know, and it is. So that's not wrong, but there's definitely a layer that gets skipped because, you know, when somebody comes to stream or turns on their camera, even if it is a vlog, they're still showing you what they want to show you, right? It goes through an editing process where they're cutting out things that they don't want you to see. Whether that's just mistakes and flubs or something else that's going on in the background or whatever. Like, it's not necessarily malicious or anything like that, but the fact that, you know, it kind of is almost marketing this realness and this, like, friendship and this authenticity and this, um, like, this is the real me kind of thing. And, um, like, as a like streamer like when I'm filming like I'm really well aware of like what I'm saying and what I'm putting out there because like I I'm who I am on camera off camera and of course I'm gonna say that um but and like I think anybody would um but I am well aware that like when I hop in the seat to film something like I'm putting forward something like I might not be feeling that great today or I might be tired or whatever um, and that's all true, but I'm still trying to put my best foot forward when I do something like this. You know, it's one of those things where it's like I'm still putting on, a, you know, a, a show for you guys and entertainment. And like, that's what I like about it is like, OK, like I'm not an actor. I'm not a person like I don't want to do that in real life. I love being behind the camera for my day job. But for this, for some reason, it's different. Like I get to be alone in my room and I get to talk to you this way. I am excited to talk to you guys in a live stream and stuff. And it's very interesting. And I just the like, parasocial kind of encapsulates that fear, I think, on both sides of the camera, that as a streamer, that you would have fans that would go too far. Um, and as fans, that there are people that you are watching that you don't know who they really are. So, you know, they, this game plays upon those very real fears, um, very real cases as well. This has happened to people in real life. Um, and the game does a good job of taking that social anxiety, um, that trust, um, and turning it against you. And also talking about a larger social, you know, I don't know if it's an issue, but a definitely something to look out for very interesting it's it's you know it's scary because it could be real i think it's just to me scarier than the ghosts and the goblins and the demons because something like this can actually and has actually occurred to some people um so you know chilla's art dealing with that real psychological trauma what did they say at the very beginning it said uh this game will drive you insane and uh, that's 
very real. That is very real. Um, it definitely drove me insane. I was actually really good. I was really impressed. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't. I didn't expect it to go that deep. So thank you so much, Chilla's Art, for giving us this horrifying thing to think about now constantly. Uh, please stay safe out there, guys, um, from internet people and scammers and uh, people, if evidently friends or exes that are trying to stalk you. So I hope that does not happen to any of you guys. I love you all for supporting me and being here with me in this journey. I want to create a safe space in this community that we have here for everybody to hang out and talk games because that's what this is all about. Um, I love video games. I love to talk about video games and I love to share my thoughts and stuff with you guys and having a chance to do this um, is a privilege, absolutely. And um, each and every one of you count for me. And the fact that there are a thousand of you is insane. Um, I never thought in a million years, I really didn't. Um, and I, I I'm just, flabbergasted and thankful and grateful and it's amazing and hopefully it doesn't get dangerous <laughs> like jealous art i'm just trying to play jokes now so thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed chillis art parasocial this spooky game for our spooky season in october stay safe out there and uh thank you guys so much goodbye